Welcome back everyone. This is chapter 13. We are going to learn about how to set up a NTP time server using Crony. Back in RHEL 6 or CentOS 6 or uh, Oracle 6, we used to have ntpd.conf configuration file and the package which is used NTP. Still we, are, we can use the NTP package but here it's very easy to use the Crony one and very many options are available let us see how to use the crony and what are the package you use want to be installed to configure the time for uh, ntp server using the crony and which service want to be enabled on boot and how to start how to stop check for the status and how to configure the ntp server all right let me install the package using yum install or if you want to search, just let me search yum search crony. It will give the information uh, whether the package is available or not. Here we can see crony is a NTP client or server. We can configure as a uh, client or a server. Here we are going to configure as a crony time server, NTP server. Okay. Let me put the information about the package yum info crony. It will give a detailed information a client by server of the network time protocol. This program gave you a computer, computer clock accurate. It was specially designed to support the system with the intermittent internet connection because if some machines doesn't have the internet connection. Uh, in example, in my office have 100 of machines and if I want to sync the time between the server to all the client machines, the client machine doesn't have a internet connection so I want to sync the time across all the client machine uh, from the server so I can configure my server as a NTP server and I can modify the configuration file I, I can uh, put uh, my NTP servers IP or host name into the configuration of client machines to sync the time okay so that my client machines will get the time from my NTP server all right let me see how to install it yum install crony provide why the package has been installed once the package installed we can found a configuration file called etc under etc crony dot conf this file will be created and let me check whether the status is enabled sure it will not be enabled because just now I have installed the package status crony d the, the service name is crony d dot service okay service the client package is dead and it's not inactive it's uh, inactive it's not activated let me try to start it system ctl start crony d dot service the service has been started now the time ntp time will be uh, ntp will be syncing i think let me check time date CTL. The status of the NTP service is now active and running. I'm going to print the time now. We can see the time date CTL command I have uh, executed. The NTP is enabled and the NTP synchronizes. Yes, both are yes. Actually, let us see how to if it's in the status of no, if the NTP uh, enabled is no, how can I enable it? For that time date CTL set hyphen NTP. Yes, this command will enable the NTP synchronization and NTP. It will enable the NTP. Okay, if I want, I don't want just me, let me disable the NTP enabled yes to no. Okay, for that I want to use the command time date CTL set hyphen NTP no. Now let me print the status. It's showing the NTP is enabled. No, it's because I have disabled now. Let me once again enable it. Uh, set NTP, yes. You can see it's now enabled. And the NTP synchronization is no, it's not syncing to the internet time. Let us see how to configure. If I want to, uh, this is my server and the client machine want to access the time from this server 
but where can where can this server get the time so this server want to get the time from the internet let me uh, let us let me show you how to configure that etc crony dot conf okay edit this file we can see here server 0102 it's uh, the times are coming from the rel dot pool dot uh, ntp dot org so i don't want to use this time servers okay this is my time server so i want to get a time from uh, one of my other uh, other time server okay let me choose make it as zero dot asia dot pool dot ntp dot org let me make it as server zero dot asia dot pool dot ntp dot org okay i burst this option will sync the time between the uh, internet uh, to the server it will check with the uh, zero dot asia dot pool dot uh, server frequently every 20 seconds or 10 seconds like that it will uh, automatically check we don't want to forcefully check it it will automatically check frequently so that the time will be updated to the from the internet automatically to this server so once we uh, change the crony.conf in plain machines with this information uh, instead of using the zero dot asia in the client side we need to use this server ip this server ip is 192.168.107.148 if i am going to use this ip in the client machine side in the same configuration the time will be synced from this server to the client machines all right now i am getting the time from internet to this server let me add one more server one dot asia dot pool dot okay ntp dot or once this configuration done just we want to restart the ntp service for that and system ctl restart crony d dot service all right let me check the status of the crony d here we can see it's still syncing the time and the time date ctl shows ntp is enabled yes and the ntp synchronized fine and few more options we have we can check using some of the crony c that is a, there is a command called crony c crony c we can use that tool to check it's a command a command line tool for the crony uh, if you want to get more detailed and status and the source where the time is coming we can check using some of the few uh, three commands there are three commands available let me show you how to use that okay crony c tracking all right this will show the time information from the server whether it's uh, pulling out the time from the ntp server or not how the status of the server and the local server and the ntp server status everything every information is here okay and one more thing uh, one more command crony c sources hyphen v this will give us a good information with the diagram we can see this this is similar to we are using the command ntpd ntp date uh, and the ip address in uh, in the rel6 we use uh, ntp.conf and the ntp package in that we have ntp date option to check this similar now that we can see when from where its time is coming how many milliseconds and uh, what other information are we can see it okay it's little bit described and it's very it's not complicated to understand all right it's showing the name and ip address and the status and the pool reach uh, lost received transaction something okay and one more com uh, command is uh, available more verbose and it will give the source stat okay crony source stats hyphen v it's also a good picture we can see 210 number of source 
to number of sample point in measurement set and it's so, uh, showing me uh, verbose information about the time synchronization all right thus we can sync a time from this ntp server to any one of the client and thus this is the tutorial about how to set up a ntp server this is the ntp server now if i want to configure my all client machine to get a time i can sync from this ntp server all right just i want to replace the ntp crony.conf with my this ip 192.168.107.148 and space i burst the option which we want to mention in the configuration should start with server then the ip address and the i burst all right let us see in next tutorial how to work with some other configuration please click the right GNU logo to subscribe with our channel. Thank you. Thank you for watching.